Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about a zombie. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, what we're talking about today actually is Blender Game Engine, and if you're a regular to this channel, you may recall way back in the day, I did a video called The Blender Game Engine Is Dead. Dead. And truth of the matter is, there's no lie there. The Blender game engine was hacked out of Blender back in 2018. They announced they were killing it off. And in the Blender 2.8 source code, it is as good as gone. Now we're moving back towards kind of having nodes and scripting functionality adding back in, but it's never going to have the same level of functionality we had back in the day. And for those that didn't know, basically there was a full functioning game engine built into the Blender game engine. But the good news is there is a project to keep things alive. The UPBGE is a Blender game engine basically that continued on from that day and they just released UPBGE 0.3. And it's actually quite nice. Uh, so this basically is the spiritual successor to the Blender game engine. And here you can see it in action. Now you may be thinking to yourself, huh, that looks a lot like Blender. Well, you would not be wrong. This is in fact built on top of Blender. And even more impressively, it's built on top of Blender 3, which was literally just released a couple days ago. So I think they were timing this release to go with uh, the Blender 3.0 release. Um, and we're gonna do a quick showcase, a very, very quick showcase of what UPBGE is all about. So if you ever wanted to create your own game in Blender, entirely in Blender, you can do so. Basically, the only thing I think you wouldn't be able to do all in the same application is your sound effects. Otherwise, you could do your texturing, your textures, your models, your level creation, and your game scripting all inside of UPBGE. And one of the big things about UPBGE, other than Blender 3 compatibility, is it also supports the EV rendering, which is actually quite nice. So if you want to run your game, you can run it in um, the EV renderer now, which is the new real-time renderer. So here, what we're going to do is showcase the functionality. So what happens with UPBGE is they extend Blender in a lot of ways. One of the big things here is Logic Bricks. You're also gonna find if you go through and look at um, an object, there's gonna be a lot of properties available for it that show up and are extended in here. It's basically pretty invasive into Blender itself. So now I'm gonna go ahead and we'll add the default cube back in. All right, so here we go. We got a cube in our world. I'm just gonna grab this guy, move him up along the Z axis like so, let's just move him over a little bit. All right, so there is our cube in the world. You'll notice with it selected up here, we have automatic logic being added. So I am in the, what is it called? The logic editor, logic bricks editor. And this is how you add your game logic to your entity. So otherwise you're working just like normal. I can model this guy, change this guy, do whatever I want with it, but I'm gonna keep it as a default cube here. And we're gonna add a little bit of logic to it. So logic is done via a series of sensors. Sensors respond to events, be it uh, proximity to another object via radar, uh, hit scanning into the world using ray casting or um in a, a collision happened over time using a delay but we're just gonna do this on a keyboard so on a keyboard event so you can say on the key of up pressed what we're going to do is add some logic so you can have controllers controller will be created for us automatically these are like basically if this and that whatever but what we're going to do is have an actuator these are think of these these verbs these are things that will happen to your object when the key is pressed and i'm just going to do motion and we're gonna move up in the z-axis by 0 0.3. So that's up. We're gonna move up by three. And what I'm going to do is basically connect this to that and it will automatically create a controller for us. And it's just and. So if this state and, then execute this code over here. And now we can go ahead and run our game. Now you're gonna notice running starts with over here. So you can see here we're using the render engine Eevee. Um, and we can go basically do an embedded start or we can start it in its own player. So we're gonna do an embedded start and this will run our game. There you can see our cube in the world. I press the up arrow and we move up. That's realistically how you will program your game logic using UPBGE, which is definitely quite nice. Now with Chris, there are other integrations here as well. So for example, you see down here, physics. We go into physics and you're gonna see here there is now a game physics tab. This is using uh, Bullet, I believe it was for the physics engine. Uh, there's also an integrated audio engine and so on. We'll get back to some of the details of UPBGE in just a second, but I wanna showcase some of the functionality. So I'm gonna go take this guy right here and we're just gonna set this guy up as as, uh, so you got a number of different options here. So we can make it a sensor in the world and so on. But what I want to make it is a rigid body like so. We're going to have coll continuous collision detection on this guy. Uh, we are going to use collision bounds on of type box. Okay, so this guy has a box around it. By the way, if you go on back over here, you're gonna notice there's other neat little functionality here. So I can do physics visualization like so, and we'll start our game again. And now you're gonna see 
the physics entities in our world where the collision so you can see where the collisions are occurring unfortunately my mouse is gone so i can't use it. i'm trying to point at my monitor which i don't think is very useful to you but those spheres are where points of collision are occurring you're seeing the background world automatically got set up as a static mesh so if i turn the physics uh visualization off and we start that again you're gonna see boom and eventually we come to a rest and we are good to go. So that's how easy it is to add physics. So we go on back over here. You're going to see you have a number of different options available. So let's say we wanted to make it a little bit more bouncy. Uh, we can change the mass of our object, right? So, and there's all kinds of integrations throughout Blender. You also have the ability to call Python scripts. There's an entire Python API behind the scenes that you can work with if you'd rather work with code. Um, you've got full access to the built-in animations and so on and so forth. There's a ton of functionality in this guy and it's sort of spread all the way throughout Blender. If you use Blender Game Engine before it was axed, you should be immediately at home. So we've got that integrated in there. Our physics is in place. Uh, I think that's where I'm going to stop the, the hands-on demonstration part of things. Pretty straightforward on the whole. Here we see our, our entity launched in the world, and then we'll, we'll move it up, and then you can see, boom. So that's how you go ahead and script your game logic using UPBGE. But otherwise, again, this is just, come on, come on. This is built on top of Blender 3.0. Uh, by the way, 3.1 Alpha is already in development if you want to check that one out as well. So if you're interested in learning more about UPBGE, uh, it is available at UPBGE.org. Uh, um, you see some of the details here. So obviously you can do your modeling directly there, your materials there, place assets in the world. Everything is animation, animatable, by the way. Sort of Sympathy is the um, screenshot used to make the title screen for this. If you like to look at that, that is a game being made using UPBGE. Create your level logic, release your game. So that's the idea behind it. I can get some features going on here. So again, the big thing about the, the this particular release is that we now have EV real-time rendering support. Um, so you're going to get a uh, bit nicer rendering based on BSDF, kind of the modern way of doing things. And then you get things like HDR tone mapping and so on and so forth. Uh, you do have the logic scripting built in there. As I mentioned earlier on, uh, you can do uh, Python scripts. You can also add uh, components and such to entities in the world. You have a full animation systems. Physics is built in. As I said, yeah, it is bullet physics that they are using there. Supports rigid, dynamic, and soft bodies. You have open XR support. So if you want to use a VR headset, you've got that option there. Uh, it works on the various different uh, platforms that win that uh, Blender is available on. Unfortunately, I do not think you can create mobile titles using it, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, it's got a navigation system built in for navigating in the nav meshes in your world. An audio system using auto space libraries is in there as well. And yeah, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Unfortunately, no mobile support. Hopefully that gets added at some point in time. Now, I do have a bit of a gripe with UPBGE. Uh, and I don't know exactly what they did, but they did something unfortunate. Because if you come in here and do UPBGE, all of the links are broken. Uh, so if you search for uh, how to do something, uh, you want to come in here. Actually, no. So literally, all they've broken all of their Google indexing. Now, this is a problem that will eventually fix itself with Google. I'm not sure what they changed on their website, but all of their links are currently broken. And that makes the world a very frustrating place. So by the way, if you're on the UPBGE team, at least re-index or fix whatever you broke, uh, because this is the number one way people search for help anymore. And all the UPG, UPBGE links right now are currently broken, which kind of sucks. But anyways, uh, in terms of the 0 0.30 release, I'm not actually going to go into a lot of details. This is going to be one of those things that's more of interest to people that are already using UPBGE. This was more of a, here's UPBGE. God, that gets hard to say after a while. Um, this is the engine. If you want, they just updated it. So it's up to date with Blender 3. And Blender 3 is really nice, by the way. I just did a video. I will link that down below if you want to learn more about what's in Blender 3.0 but they are current to the most recent version and you've got uh, blue integration for EV, uh, grease pencil or workbench. Uh, so uh, it's, yeah, uh, basically it, it gamifies or game engineifies uh, the Blender game engine, gives you those uh, logic scripts and extensions that you can add and so on. Otherwise you're using Blender like normal. So if you're doing animations, you can do animations. You've also got the ability to work with grease pencil. So if you want to do uh, 2D games using this with like a, a painterly or a drawerly effect, uh, those options are available there as well. As you can see, you can also do um, programming via the uh, Python API. So if you don't want to use this um, logic based system that we see in action here, this, uh, you can actually do your game code using Python. Uh, you've also got the ability to actually call strictly to some Python code. Uh, is it on this side? 
you can send messages, or is it here, Python code? But anyways, you have the ability to call code directly um, there, so you can mix and match between Python code and um, the, the the logic bricks approach to things. You've also got the ability to add properties uh, to things, uh, and then also down here, uh, you've got the ability to add properties and components and so on to things as well. Uh, so uh, various different game properties can be set and moved, and you think of these like variables or attributes that go along with objects. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is UPBGE 3.0, released a couple of days back, basically at the same time that um, Blender 3.0 was released. And if you are interested, do check out what's new in Blender 3.0. There's some really nice stuff, and even a few quality of life things, like you know how it used to be really annoying to do uh, splitting windows like so. So if you wanted to split down, you used to have to make it size. Now the window splitting is so much more intuitive. I love this little change. It's a small change, but it's one of those things that came in um, Blender 3 as well. So I'm very happy with that. And by the way, another big thing that was in Blender 3 is geometry nodes. And yes, geometry nodes do work with UPBGE. So uh, it, it's nice to see that the game engine has lived on in the form of UPBGE. And I'm curious, what do you think? Let me know, comments down below. I will talk to you all later and goodbye.